This is a review for the ESDDI ND1000 filter. Front has the company logo and the picture of the ND filter. Bottom has a website. Both sides say shoot as a pro, lit a blink. Top says website again. Back has model information. Particular one I have is ND1000 5.5T. Okay, the box is a cardboard box that has shrink wrap covering. As you can see, I suck at opening these because I have no nails. And uh, this is my first review, so I had a hard time doing it on camera. Anyways, we got that off. Once you open the actual container, you got the uh, ND filter um, case. It's a plastic case and a user manual that will show you for entirely way too long. As you can see, for it has English, um, once I open it up, we got other languages that I can't read, but other people probably can. That's why they're in that language. So enjoy. As you can see here, the case is pretty big for the size filter I got. I got a 55 mil or 58 millimeter. Um, uh, I'm pretty stupid, so I didn't realize you just press the little piece in the middle, which I'll discover right about now, and it'll open. The filter is covered by squishy foam. Um, it just sits inside, like most filters. Um, off at first inspection, it looks like it has pretty good quality. It looks pretty nice. It looks like it has some nice coating on the front. Not an expert. This is my first ND filter. Holding it up to the camera uh, before the ISO uh, took over, you could see through it. And you can see through it with a naked eye. Um, but once it's on the camera and you start doing long exposures, you will have to take longer exposures for you to actually get any kind of picture through it. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional photographer. The pictures I'm going to show you is just me hanging out with my brother at Helen Hunt Falls in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So let's take a look. So here's the picture without the ND filter. As you can see, the water looks like a normal waterfall if you took it with your phone or just a regular camera. There is no smoothness, which is what you get with an ND filter. So let's take a look at it with the ND filter installed. Now here's a picture with the ND filter. It's a different view, I understand that, but it was at the same location, same time of the day. This was a 30 second exposure, um, and actually someone walked into the frame about 15 seconds into it, and since it is a long exposure filter, thank God they did not show up in my, in my picture. And it actually came out pretty good for my first time. So that concludes my crappy review of the ESDDI ND1000 filter. This is a cheap ND filter from Amazon.com that I happened to purchase for $15.95. Um, you can find it for yourself. I think it rendered a pretty good picture, um, but you be the judge and you have a great day.